everybody, you're looking live at Studio 12A through a tiny little monitor in our control room. That's where the cool people hang out. Producer Alyssa, director Chrissy, sitting at the board. She's filling in for Cindy today. Cindy had to take the day off. No, oh, it wasn't Craig. Cindy. No, Cindy's Craig. here, I was gonna say. Man, I keep screwing up with Cindy. Today. Craig is on baby watch. What? Yes, his wife is due any day now. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Who's the father? Yeah, I think it's Craig. <laughs> so we're gonna have new, two new baby girls to the Today and AZ oh, show. Man. Yeah, Emma's yeah. expecting any day now. Everybody's asking me. Creepy sent me a text yesterday. She wants to know when the baby's dead. When Emma stops showing up on the show, it's safe to assume that it's, it's coming, probably. <laughs> now. Yeah. Like, no more mm -hmm. vacation before what? maternity. She's a day. trooper, though. Still wearing, still wearing her heels. She's trucking. And her dresses. She is. Oh, to be a kid again. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine being born into this world in 2019? How different your life would be than the one that you were brought up in? I play a little game when I drive to work. <laughs> I flip the radio and I try to get to the oldest song possible and I pretend when, if I can get to that song, that's the year I get to go back. Could be anything. Could be Seals and Croft, Summer Dreams from 1976. <laughs> and that's, where was I in 76? I was in the third grade. And if I could relive it again. But I also have like an, another side that I, I, I'm going to write all the stocks down and everything that's going to pop in Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be a multi-gazillionaire too. Yeah. But I always, I always think that would be so cool to go back. Let's say you couldn't take it all back. Like, let's say if you were going back to that magical date and time, but you couldn't take the knowledge with you, would you do it and do it all over again? If I couldn't take Tabula the Rasa, knowledge? Clean slate. Dang. Just starting over. Snap my fingers and you're back in seven. No, because I'll be know. back in the same boat. And my life is so great now. So, no, I wouldn't. I also think about that. If I, even now, if I could take the knowledge with me, if I had to say goodbye to people that I knew, you know, I think I'd even miss you. Oh, that's weird. Crazy yeah. as that sounds. Really? Yeah. yeah I you like may have it. seen the fill in the blank in the comment <laughs> section here. We want your opinion. The best part of being a kid was blank. Get your ideas in. While you do, we're going to show you the ICYMI today, the In Case You Missed It on Today in AZ, <laughs> where we shared some of our things we missed <coughs> about being kids. Emma Jade, what about you? Best part of being a kid? Without a doubt, it has to be the nap times. Mm. I never really got nap time, though, growing up, because there was nine kids and I was number six. And so number six, you're just... It was all about survival for you, really. Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, still is. 6.30 is your time right now. Only a week and a half away from uh, the due date. Anyway, oh, how's your Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know the stripes hide it. Horizontal stripes is perfect. That's for what they say, women. horizontal stripes. Yeah. No one will ever know. Uh -huh. Without a doubt. That's why I look so big. <laughs> Vertical. <laughs> right. <laughs> kind of I was say, you're looking buff. People meet, uh, I don't know, amazing. Hey, my favorite part, kick the can. Did you guys ever play that? Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Kick the can. Good. We're still in the same. That's right. Night games were always so fun. That was awesome. Like on a Friday night, you have all the kids hanging Maybe out. All the kids. And then mom comes out and, come on, you got to get to bed. Come on, everyone else is playing. I thought his mom had an Irish accent. Yeah. Uh, was it someone else's mom? No, it's my me mother. Oh, there you go. Mom, there is, yeah. mom, <laughs> she's got to get to bed. Right? And I'd said back, mom, please. Mom. <laughs> two more hours, just two more hours. You sound like Ringo. Not bad. Yeah, I know. Got my ring on. Ball is dead, man. Miss oh. him, miss him, miss him. <laughs> and we go on. <laughs> Jimmy, your mom's voice changes every month. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, she was Eastern Romanian mm. last month, if you watched She's a well-traveled woman. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. She picks up these accents. Right. And, uh, mm. and then I where I get my accents from. I like it when the top of our shows turn into, like, just comedy hour. And yeah. we go for, like, two minutes, and you hear the producers, like, squealing in our ears, like, please do oh, weather. There are people behind the scenes that want us to do, like, yeah. hardcore news, and they, yeah. they've established it. Not this show. This is not a new show. But uh, so they're screaming at us, and we're having a good time. Back to the nap time, like Emma said. You know, when I was growing up, my mom just told, shared a story with me the other day that I hated taking naps. Really? Yeah, and that, so I'd be like at daycare or school, you know, and they're like, and I would cry to the teacher and be like, my mom's like, okay, we'll just let her lay there, but don't have her close her eyes, you know? And so that was my solution. My mom's like, you just lay there, but you don't have to go to sleep. And I'd be like, okay. So this job is perfect for me now because I don't get any sleep as it is. I cry you know? without the naps now. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I know. You know, I was a horrible, I, was, I tried to be a comedian once. And I was a terrible comedian. I think I found out, I, I bring it back to my childhood because I had a great childhood. I really think a lot of people, not everyone, but I think if you had a terrible, something to draw from, pain, I had nothing. It was, I really had a great childhood. And, and all these responses you guys are doing, all the way from uh, kickball to, to going to see grandma, taking that trip to Thanksgiving dinners, that's, that, was, that was pretty dang lucky. Living the life. It's your turn to fill in the blank, hey. guys. Let's take a look at the graphic. The best part of being a kid was blank. Wendy said swimming. Krista said just being a kid. I think there's something to be said for that innocence where you don't have a responsibility in the world. 
That's what Amanda says too, not having bills or responsibilities. Connie playing outside. Do kids play outside anymore? I, that yeah. seems like such a stupid question. No, they to ask. do. Of course they do. Because I went outside. I'd yell at my neighbor's kids the other day. Did you? Oh, that's a grandpa. Get man. off my lawn. Get off my lawn. My neighbor's kids ride their bike in my driveway, and I'm always afraid they're going to like accidentally run into my car. Mm. And so I'm like, how do you, do you? What do you do? Do you tell them, hey? No, then you sue them. I think. Paul, you wait till get your new car, right? Uh huh. And you look out, and across the street, there's the kids, right? Uh -huh. They're playing a little baseball. Yeah. With a real baseball. Right. In the street, right. it's about this narrow, and your car is just sticking right out there. It'll change you. You go get the hose and you... You'll go about 80 years old. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, that's, that's stressing me. me out, actually. And it's just a hypothetical <laughs> situation. I'm, like, getting fidgety. Yeah. Luckily, um, now, what you do, you text uh, neighbor's dad. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Bill, could you, Bill, could you not? Get those kids out of here with that baseball. Jamie said, no bills? <clears throat> yes. Oh, my gosh. Stacy said, no adult, not adulting. Yes, adulting's hard. Especially when you have, like, a whole bunch of stuff to do and you just know how taxing it's going to be. Like, I had company in town last weekend, and so my place was a mess yesterday. Yeah. And I had some other life stuff come up that was, like, more pressing than cleaning my place. But just having that hanging over my head was just so daunting. It ruined my whole day, like, knowing I'm going to have to put three hours into cleaning this mm. place up. Yeah. yeah. Well, Paul stuff. brought up a good point, though. Would you go back to your childhood if you didn't, you know, if you didn't have the cognitive awareness now? Yeah. Of course, if we could go back, we'd know so much more. I don't know, it was, I like my life now, but it was just tough back, you know, back then, I don't know. Because I remember I was a frustrated child. I had the wonderful childhood, but I was, a, I wanted to be an adult, you know? You just think about the bludgeonings of chance, right? Like the, the random things that happened in your life that got you to where you are now. Right. You, the, you could call it the butterfly effect or whatever you want to, but it's impossible to know what little thing eventually turned into a big thing you know what I mean like that one decision that that one guy made that one day to call your agent about a job that took you to San Diego sure. that got you he without that phone call or that guy called in sick to work what you know what I mean your whole life would be different so to, to erase it all and to go back with nothing it's a scary proposition because it could have turned out a hell of a lot worse oh my gosh yes there's a million things in my life where things just people either saved me yeah. or I don't know if they'd be there again if I had to do it all over again. So we're going to read some more of your responses. In the meantime, guys, we got one more uh, thing on your to-do list, the dessert bracket challenge. I know some of the commenters are sick of us talking about it, but we do feature a matchup every day on this show. You need to vote in the poll right now. Which one is moving on, ice cream sandwiches or ice cream cake? Just pick a favorite. Vote for us. And at the end of the show, I'm going to take this black pen. I'm going to write the winner on that board. Watch it. We're humming right along right now in this dessert bracket challenge. By the time oh. we are done today, we're going to be halfway through the first round games. I'm shocked that 60% uh, are voting ice cream cake at this time versus ice cream sandwich. I mean, they're really the same thing, right? No. Ice cream sandwich, you know, it's different than the cake because cake has... It's like harder. It's cakier. Yeah. I like ice cream cake. If you were like, you could only have one kind of cake the rest of your life, I think I'd pick ice cream cake because mm -hmm. it's two for one. You give me a dessert, I think I'd do an ice cream sandwich. Man, I used to love those suckers. The people are disagreeing good. with you. Look at the percentages go down. People hating on ice cream sandwich. And you know, you always get it on your finger. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. But well, that's why you got to keep it on the size. wrapper. You got to pull it on the wrapper. You yeah. pull that wrapper down as you're, as so you're doing good. that. So <laughs> good. It looks like you were delicately milking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys remember Nutty Buddies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nutty Buddies. Nutty buddies. I used to get I'm those that, in my Easter sometimes basket. Sometimes they, they make me feel so young still. It's good, <laughs> yeah. Let's get to some more of your responses. Tyree misses family time when she was a kid. Leslie playing out till dark, never worried about strangers. Leslie, I got to ask you a question. Do you feel like the world was safer then than it is now? Because I feel like it, it wasn't, but we, we just think it was. Boom. Because of social media and how quickly news spreads now. Pow. But if Jimmy's kid gets hit by a car, it's going to be on the news tomorrow. It's going to be on your social media feeds. It's going to be on your Facebook. It's going to be in your grill. People care. But 40 years ago, maybe you didn't hear about no. it. No. Because it was printed in the paper on a Nothing. paper you didn't even subscribe to for one day. There was some crazy stuff you'd hear about that happened like three neighborhoods over. Yeah, really? Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. And then right. they broke in? Don't ever heard about that. This is very sad. And same, to add to that, Paulette uh, said, living in a time with less angry people. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you go back. Yeah. Our past with the wars and all the crazy stuff and World War II, World War I, and I think we're pretty, we're doing pretty good right now. I think people are pretty friendly. They're just real right now. Yeah. And I think real is the best thing. This Don't is, be friendly to me, uh, stranger danger. This is a much more serious topic than we usually get into on this show, but I, but I think you're onto something here. And we, we've kind of broached the subject before, but people were always angry. People were always different. Always. All, but there's just different ways to express it now, and it's just more in our faces. I feel like it's ever present like yeah. that. That hate and that anger is just rubbed in our, our face a lot more, you know, than, than it used to be.
I don't know. I, I don't. I remember as a little kid, man, the racial racial slurs coming out of parents' yeah. mouth towards me. Oh, really? That was just open. It's just the way it was. There, there was no politically correct stuff back then. I mean, you I know? think about the thing, the words that I said in middle school exactly. and high school, the names you called each other. That stuff wouldn't fly now. Yeah, it just you know? rolled off my back. Yeah. You're, well, okay, whatever. That's what it is. I'm gonna call them a name back. I don't miss the bullying. Yeah. Oh, remember that? Kids can be brutal to each other. I, I think they can now. They're more quiet and yeah. social about it. But in person, you know, they pick on you in front of everybody. Yeah, I mean, the bullying now, though, I think it, it, it's on another level because now it's social media bullying, too. I mean, these kids are being ostracized for an Instagram post. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like if Vanessa posts that Paul is ugly on Twitter or whatever, like the whole school knows about it the next day. I, you know what I mean? Like I, it's, I got one. My son, he had a letter from a college interested in him for a soccer scholarship, yeah. and he posted it, and he was just proud, and he just got hammered. From kids like, oh, that's stupid. I had two of those letters. Everyone's yeah, getting those. Not good. I mean, holy yeah. crap! I was like, so my heart was breaking as a parent. But oh, I mean, freaking losers. That's brutal, man. Let's get to some more of your responses. Things you miss as a kid. Oh, Francis, <laughs> having my parents alive. Oh, you know what? I, yeah. it, I'm sorry for your loss, Francis, but that's a good reminder for everybody. You know, you, you cherish the people that you've got around because you don't know how long you're going to have oh, them for. And another one to that, uh, young parents. Yeah. I remember when my parents were young. You know, even if your parents are still around, sometimes they get they get old. Oh I yeah. When I, I moved to New England for years, I remember my dad would come out to visit periodically, and his hair just got whiter and whiter, and he got a little more lower to the ground. I was like, yeah. wow, you know. And he's not here now, but yeah. So cherish that. All memories with them alive. But I remember when my parents were young. You know, my dad chopping wood, and fishing, <laughs> yeah. and all kinds of stuff. I remember uh, watching old videos of my dad. You know, you look at him in full on '90s gear. I, there's a video of my dad in a purple. Uh, Sweatsuit, I and like those. a snapback Lakers calf, yeah. and I'm just like, who the hell is that guy? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. I wish I could have known him then. You know, when I was a little kid, you, you don't know your parents like you do as an adult. But I just, I wonder what that guy was like. And know? I think they change. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I really do. People, change. people change. They really do. Back in the day, I seen pictures of my dad back in the day where he would. That's when the shorter shorts were in. Yeah, absolutely. they wore the shorter shorts and the high socks. Yeah. You know, and like I was like, ooh, like you know, just him. And then it's funny how he transitioned transitioned over the years into like cargo shorts and the Fila right. shoes. The Fila shoes are the New Balance white shoes that every dad wears. Like it's just like it's like a thing. Yep, like, that was my dad. My, my my dad used to take his old suits, right? He wouldn't take the top but he'd recycle them and he'd put them in the working closet. So when he came home, he'd take off his suit and he'd put the older slacks on with the old wingtips mm. and the pen in the pot. And he'd go do yard work out there. That's he'd be sharp. mowing the lawn and stuff. Like he was like a gentleman with the old wingtips. And those wingtips are solid leather and they're, yeah. they're work shoes. But you know, when, when he died, my friend said, yeah, he's one of the last of the true gentlemen. Oh. He always looked like a gentleman out there and his old clothes, he'd recycle them. Looked like a guy. Mm -hmm. So many of you are missing family time and grandparents and parents and it just, I think we, we remember the good stuff, too. Like, I'm not saying that none of us spend family time anymore, but, like, I think the, the family time you had when you were a kid, you just cherish so much because, mm -hmm. because it's a land you can never return to. You know, it's, it's a, it's a prized <coughs> memory for a reason because there's no going back. It's not like you had a nice steak. Well, there'll be more good steaks. There will never be another instance where you're a kid sitting at your dinner table with your parents, yeah. you know, having, having a discussion about your school day. I, I used to go Mr. Powell next door. And he was on oxygen, you know, in a wheelchair. He'd send us to the grocery store, to the, the dime store, the, the drug store, which yeah. is like a C, smaller version of CVS, with uh, 35 cents or 40 cents to get him a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> and you'd tell him this is for Mr. Powell. They'd sell it to you. Yeah. There's no problem. And you could keep the 10 cents. And you could get like a candy a bar deal. with that yeah. 10 cents. And it was a hike to, to the store. We used to have to cross a busy street, <laughs> Hoffman, to, you know, you wouldn't tell your mom. That was awesome. Those were good really? memories, man. Yeah, mom would probably be pissed that you were buying cigarettes oh, from the old man yeah. on the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, you know? There's tons of people that are chiming in here. Um, Kathy said, making mud pies. Remember that yeah, back in the day? Yeah. This is so fun. Tammy, that. building forts with my brothers, riding quads, dirt bikes, horses. You were dirt clod forts, fights? Man. Dirt clod. We never got into any dirt clod fights. Because enough emergency rooms, they weren't allowed, yeah, probably. Yeah. They were smart. We'd go full on out. People would get tagged in the head with dirt clods, with rocks. I mean, my mom used to tell me stories about she'd chuck eggs at cars and stuff as a uh -huh. kid. Like, oh, She got in all huge. kinds of trouble as a kid. That wasn't okay for us. We used to toilet paper houses Yeah, TP houses. I didn't, really, I didn't really get involved in that, but I had friends that did. You know? Yeah. Oh, my, my brother used to throw eggs at cars and Jeez. stuff and shakes. and You almost get beat up. I mean, you get caught doing that. Russell but. playing stickball, riding bikes. Wendy yeah. said being boy crazy. 
still. <laughs> I'm glad you I think that happens so you die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever. what about Saturday morning cartoons? Oh, man. That was the best. Yeah. You'd get up early to watch cartoons. I used oh. to, uh, we didn't have a ton of money when I was growing up, but uh, I used to get to rent video games maybe once a month or something like that. We'd go to the, the video store and you rent a Nintendo cartridge or whatever. Uh, we used to have to rent the system because we couldn't afford one. Um, but I remember whenever I had a game that I rented, I, I would wake up super early the next morning. Like, I'm talking like 5 a.m. Yes. Just to slap that Super Mario cartridge in so I could get to work. Like, I, I got some exploring. That is I've awesome. only got this game for 48 hours. And so you'd get up early. I would wake up so early, just naturally. Like, my body's just excited. Like, I'm going to play video games for like seven hours today, you know? Like, I, I remember TV going on and off the air. That yeah. was cool. It would go off the air. They'd play the national anthem. It'd go to bars and then psh, Nothing. Go on. So my sister used to wake up in the morning. She got a job at this place called King's Food Host. Uh -huh. And they were a national chain. They're gone now. And I used to wake up with her. She'd wake me up at like 5 or 6 in the morning, first time I ever used an alarm clock, to, to go watch TV to wait for cartoons to come on because they came on early in the morning. And I'd see that nothing. I'd be sitting there just looking at nothing but static. Then they'd go to bars, national anthem, and then Scooby-Doo would come on. <laughs> and I'd watch that. The coolest thing I, I remember. I I watched Fraggle Rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fraggle Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I miss too? Every uh, weekend, my mom would take me to McDonald's to get a Happy Meal. That's why I still love them to this day. Like, we'd, I'd get little chicken nuggets and French fries. Part of your childhood. Yeah, she, that was our treat, you know, on the weekend. Gosh, you know what? I, I'll tell you what. I'll sum this up. I think today, right now, where we're sitting, this is the good old days for us. We're not, we're not in a major war. This, we live, we get food, we go to the girls. So that's the thing. Don't worry too much in the past or too much in the future, worried about what's going to happen. Live this, because we'll be talking about this day in about 20 years. And remember back in the yeah. day when they had TV shows and they had these anchors that would talk about nothing and just sit around? <laughs> remember, what was that show called? I remember thinking back, I mean, even, even five, six, seven years ago, early in my career, making no money, living in a tiny little box, living hard. Those, those are the, the best days of my life. Oh. You know, I, I look, I, even now, I look back and I'm like, Man, I wish I appreciated that a little more, you know? But you couldn't because you were so worried you were going to get stuck there. You are trying to get to the next right, move. Right, sure. You're worried you're going to be eating dollar Spanish rice yeah. every night for the rest of your life. So <laughs> you're busting your butt trying to get up and make a little money. Then you do make a little money, and you're like, man, I liked it when things were simple. Yeah. That was my Providence, Rhode Island, my Corpus Christi. Just broke. Yeah. Buying some cheap beer and eating shrimp on the beach. It was, and it was like the best memories of my life. Steph Stephanie's, I got to get the Stephanie's comment here because preach, sister. No back pain. Oh. oh, I know. One day you just wake up and your back hurts yeah. for the rest of your life. That's yeah. just the way it is. Body aches. I'm like, what Jeez, happened? <laughs> I don't remember what it was like to wake up not in pain. Like, seriously. I, I, I remember vaguely, like, being a kid and <laughs> being flexible and durable and, like, you worked out and it didn't affect you. It gets worse. I know it does. I know it does. I know it only gets worse. It's we, frustrating. We, we got a basketball hoop here we brought for March Madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put up as props. Uh, two years ago, I, I got into this thing with this other anchor, and we just kept, you know, and I kept practicing and everything. I got freaking tendonitis. <laughs> Wait, and it took, and it, and it took me like five months for it to finally go away, just from doing this for about, you know, an hour or so. That's the worst part is like you know you injured something, but yeah. there's nothing you can do about it right. except wait for it to go away. And that like, would that injury yeah. wouldn't have happened 20 years ago. You gotta right. put the sure. ointment on there that's yeah. icy hot or whatever that makes it feel ben better. Gay. Ben Gay. I was in uh, Tiger Bomb. Vegas this past weekend with my little brother celebrating his birthday and a couple of his friends. We did some March Madness, some sports betting, that kind of deal. And uh, I stopped at one point to tie my shoe. <laughs> that's it. I had a loose shoelace. I stood up and I was like, Something's wrong. <laughs> I just, immediately, I was like, and it wasn't even like my back. It was like my shoulder. Like the angle that I bent down was weird. And then I got a little lightheaded from like bending over. And now my shoulder hurts. And I'm like, what, what, what am I doing? Just put me in the ground already. How about you know? one of the comments? Recovering from pain Maybe. quickly when you were a kid. Yeah, snapping oh, back. Man, I would, we used to jump off the house just to jump off the in roof the of the house. In the pool. Oh my gosh. Everything. Right. Get to some more of these responses. Hey, bring up the poll one more time on the dessert challenge. I'm about ready to make a determination here. Let's just do it. Oh, it's wow. close. Wow, the ice cream cakes 53. You remember yesterday we ice put donuts, cakes. cupcakes, and yeah. then donuts because the, no, it kept sandwiches. oscillating. I'm going with ice cream sandwiches. Come on. Heck yeah. What, how much time we got left? About 30 seconds. And then you get to suck your fingers because you get the little ice cream yeah, stuff the on there. Oh, so if good. you want to see ice cream sandwiches survive like these two do, you've got 30 ice seconds to get your Get it to in. the next level. That's childhood. You're not just talking about something good. You're talking about a piece of our childhood here. 12news.com slash your voice as I get up and go write it on the board. Oh, no. Change my mind.
In the meantime, a couple more responses, Vanessa. What are people filling in the blank with? All right, people said making up dances to Thriller. That's from Jamie. Um, and <laughs> Tammy. Because can't do the Thriller dance. <laughs> ja Jamie says Aquanet. Guess what? Oh, Jamie, I used Aquanet have it. this morning. You know what? But the, I tried it the other day because I forgot my hairspray, Jamie, and it doesn't work the same. Like, remember, you would tease your hair, and you'd make it huge, and then you would spray it off so it would stay. Yeah, my hair feels really greasy, but I like it. It looks right. good greasy. Um, Wendy said ice cream sandwiches. Maggie said neon colors. Yes, Wendy, I like you, Wendy. Colors. Ice cream sandwich. Angela said sandwich. Oh, neon colors from the 80s. That Maggie must be from the 80s. All right, it looks like ice cream sandwich, ice cream cake is in the lead with 50%. Oh, come on, guys. Ice cream cake. cake. Sandwich. Angela, vote. Our second upset of the day. Sorry, ice cream sandwich lovers. Dang it. Jamie Morano actually watching music videos on MTV. Yeah. Videos. I saw the first day that MTV went on the air. Tomorrow's matchup. First day, yeah. Coffee cake against French silk pie in the fancy Ooh, bracket. Ooh, French silk pie. You'll get to vote on that in the uh, actual newscast today in AZ. And then in the after show, brownies versus s'mores. That's a tough matchup. Think about the memories you associate with s'mores. Yes. Wendy, you said leaving doors unlocked. Well, you shouldn't have left them unlocked back then because they were still <laughs> around. It was still dangerous. So I'm glad we know to lock them now. Another reason that I'm glad we live in the now times. Whoa! Boom! Cat like reflexes. Nice hands. Sir, uh, your pen. <laughs> These two. If you lived in the before times, you couldn't watch the show because it streams on a, on a social networking app. Yeah. How cool is that? Anyway, thanks for spending part of your morning with us. I hope we didn't annoy you too much. Thanks for voting. Thanks for sharing your childhood memories. Adieu. Adieu.